gardening friends. Welcome to Backyard Basics. You know, I always come and do little things with compost or mix potting soil or show you how to propagate something. The other day, somebody asked me, why don't you ever show the plants that you like? And I said, well, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll come down and show some of my favorite plants. And so I've collected a lot of these guys over the years. These right here are the ones I first started with. They're all in the bromeliad family, so you can see some of the characteristics. This is one I really like, this whole selection right here. They're called cryptanthus. And so, and crypt means, it's a Latin Latin word for hidden, and anthus means, the, it's the Greek word anthus for flower. So these have hidden flowers. Not a very significant flower in there, little white things, but it's their foliage that makes them so attractive, and that's what I like about them. I've got a glove on because with these guys, uh, they'll bite you when you're working on them. So little glove like this, these are small, so what it does is it makes my hands stay like this all the time, which makes it easy to grab the pots, but uncomfortable after a while. So these cryptanthus, look at the color on these guys. Here's a single one right here. See this guy? This is one by himself. Now this one's been propagated from this guy right here. This is a clump of them. They're easy to remove also. I like the clump. I brought all of these that are in different clumps. They can be shown as individuals like that one, but they're all in here. Like many of the bromeliads, the mother dies. When this plant right here finally reaches maturity, it will produce a whole lot of babies. This pot had one of those, and now these are the babies that are coming up everywhere around it. Look at those leaves. They're just so beautiful. And so it makes makes a nice full pot. But at a certain point you'll begin to see yellowing leaves as the mother plant dies away. And so besides some nice little gloves, this is the only other tool I use, these little scissors. And I'll go in there and take out some of these brown leaves uh, as they begin to appear. And you don't have to take it apart as the mother begins to go away. So, and, and you know, when you leave them on there, some of these extend out of the pot. They make a nice little hanging basket. So um, these little Little pups are everywhere on here. It's really a neat plant for cascading over one of the benches in the greenhouse or hanging the plant. So these are really neat. These little cryptanthus are colorful and nice. Here's another one that I left in a clump. Look at this beauty right here. You know, I buy them at, um, oh, the different garden shows that are around town. Sometimes there'll be plants on sale. I'll find them and grab one of them. Sometimes they don't even have a name. Actually, frequently they don't, and I try to identify it a little bit later on. Uh, this one right here is called Mystic, and once again, I bought it at one of the shows. You'll find these at the Cactus and Succulent Society shows also. So I always try to get in there early and go searching around to see if I can find myself a little cryptanthus. You could also join the Bromeliad Society, and you'll see them over there and learn more about them. So the other day, I was looking through the Yucca Doo catalog, and there were some nice dickias. This is related to the cryptanthus, but uh, discovered by someone else. And so these dickias are really nice also. Unlike the cryptanthus, these don't bloom in the center. They bloom from the side, and the mother plant doesn't necessarily die off. And it creates a big old long spike on there with beautiful, sometimes pink, orange, yellow flowers. The butterflies and the hummingbirds like them. And, uh, but look at the character of this guy. Really nice. When they ship them into you, they come in a nice plastic bag to keep them moist. Here's another one, a little bit different. This one's called called the Hectia. And so, and look at the nice clump. I could take these apart and pot them up or do something else with them. Uh, here's another Dickia right here. Look at, these are little crosses. Many of the growers like to cross their own. They'll uh, take them and hybridize them and you'll get different characteristics. And that's what I like about them, the subtle differences in them. Look at this color right here. This is a nice red one, nice, almost maroon really, really beautiful. And then there are these types over here with that nice silvery foliage. This is a beauty, and look at the star shape of it. They're earth stars. The cryptanthus are called earth stars, and um, what they need is a soil that drains well, but holds moisture at the same time. One of the interesting things about the dickias is they're very cold hardy. They can stay outside. When you're rushing around to put your plants in before that first freeze, you don't have to worry about these guys. And you can grow them just like the cactus out in your garden, and they're really beautiful that way. So these are some of the plants that I really like and have a bunch of in my greenhouse. If you're ever at some of the shows and sometimes at a nursery, look for cryptanthus or dickias and you'll like them. They're very easy to grow. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time.